Guys, you will not believe the golf clubs I've decided to use in 2022. And you're not gonna believe it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, I'm taking on Mr. Chris Dennis here at the wonderful, I was gonna show the clubhouse, but we're in the wrong place. Trump International Dubai. Chris, how are you? Well, the bucket hat is back. The bucket hat is back. And Chris, I've got some new clubs in the bag that people won't believe. No. We'll get to it in a second. I'll let you tee off first here on the second hole. First hole's busy. Par five. Oh, lovely. Just fading back to that right side quite nicely into this headwind. Headwind? Right. Is it a new driver? Well, you know what, Chris? I don't think people are really going to quite believe what it is. So, or they are, should I say. There's, there's basically a whole array of new clubs in this bag. And some of them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ruin it a little bit, some of them aren't brand new. Guys, get in the comments below, what do you think it is, or they are? Today we've got casual James with his shirt untucked. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it actually, I'm enjoying the vibe it gives me. It's embracing the vibe. Ladies and gentlemen, we're also using the Wilson. Oh, Wilson's back out. Oh, and that's why. How good's that? Must be the shirt Why untucked. can't I play like this at home? Wow. Right guys, 329 yards into this par five. You'll see there's water short and left. So we want to hit it about, um, further than that, mm. we want to hit it probably about there, 198 Agree. into a wind. I'm not going to ruin it, I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to show you what's in there just yet. Right, just a nice, it's almost like a Lynx course guys here at Trump International. If you've not played it, so I'm going to try and shove this down there 200-ish. Just like that, that is perfect. Perfect, you say? That is perfect. And this is a club actually which hasn't been in the bag yet. Guys, there's more new golfers in my bag at the moment than God knows what. I've even got this in, the P790 UDI, but the 2021 edition, the newer one. Um, you'll see Chris is up here on the right side of the fairway. Chris, what are you hitting? Four iron. So basically the same loft as my two iron, yeah? No, that is a lie. Power lofts and all that. Delightful. You know when you see the ball go up into like a building? Oh, don't, don't you just love it? I love it. Guys, if you can't tell, I'm just buzzing to be out in Dubai and buzzing to be playing golf in some good weather. Remember, comment below, what are you looking forward to trying? We haven't hit what I'm describing as my new clubs yet. I'm going to give you a clue, it's irons. It's irons. Right, we have one ball here. Could I have gone long? He could be in the drink, my friend. That would be... Me? Surely not. That is me. Have a look. What have you got? I have got a hundred and thirty-five. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it's a bit into the sea breeze. I'm thinking it's just a smooth wedge. Wedge. How much are you enjoying these irons, by the way, Chris? Let's hold them up and show people what. They're a bit of you, aren't they? Fantastic irons. Best and there's irons. There's also a bit of something in Chris's bag that is it going to stay? Is it going to stay? Fully cobra up. Call him Bryson. Ooh, it's a little bit right. Wasn't the best swing. Oh, it's Oof. chipping a putt. Chipping a putt. Chipping a putt. Or a putt and a putt. Oh no, it's nice on the grass. I can't, well, I can't believe A, it's finished where it's finished, but I can't believe it's that far off line. Well, there's a big slope, so you've got to know the contours, James. Uh, how far have I got? It's not far, is it? One eleven. flag back left. I've missed the green. And you know what? It's time to tell, uh, is it time? Is it time to tell them? Or is it a gap wedge? You can't get there with a gap wedge, you're not kidding any of us. Guys, I've got these in the bag. And I'm going to talk through why they're in the bag. You can see how battered they are. They need a clean as well. But give me a sec. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge. That's a 9 iron. I don't need that. Where's the wedge? There. Wedge Mondo. Yeah. What an awful lie. Awful lie. 
Right, we'll get, I'll get in the sand in the old wasteland. Could be worse, couldn't it? If it goes six inches that way. Oh. Up and down gets me one up, doesn't it? I think so, on this occasion. How far left is this going to go on the lie? Oh, five yards. It's coming. Be good. Sit! Very good shot, I think. This is part of the reason why, guys. I've been playing out here in Dubai for the last few days. Chris, I want you to describe my ball striking because I don't want to be the guy who says, I'm hitting it really well. So we'll, we'll have a chat. Because there's obviously reasons for why your ball striking can improve. I've got a swing for which I feel is positive and is good. But what's my ball striking been like? I mean, if you've watched any of the other videos, although... Chris generally doesn't have anything positive to say, so I'm going to be interested to see where this goes. I was going to say, you've hit a, very, a lot of very good shots that rose into the buildings, didn't you? Basically, it's been quite good, just like that wedge there <laughs> that's about 10 feet away to go one on. Oh, look at it. It's a good shot, that. Oh, I tell you what. Clean high. What a baller. And isn't it funny, guys, how sometimes all you need is that one kind of swing thought with the right clubs to give you that bit of confidence to play shots like that. Right, Chris has got a very difficult two put. Hopefully two puts gets it me. Pace looks good. Sit, sit. Has he put it into the water? I really hope that carries on going. Oh, if you would have put it into the water, you've never, you've never heard the end of it. It did run on a bit that, and I'll give you on this, for the first ever occasion, it's closer than what you actually said. Isn't it? Pitched here as well, so that's a good bit of, uh, there's life in the old grooves yet. Ray stick past. I'll give you that, mate. Is that a six? Unfortunately, yes. It was such a good read. You weren't missing that. <laughs> right, right. for a bird, it opening bird. That was a perfect hole, that isn't it, for that uh, that distance? I say perfect hole. She nearly went in the waist. Guys, that is one up with the new clubs, and I do love it when a plan comes together. Birdie on the first, one up. All right, water on the next what? level. <laughs> so I think, in fairness, the fact that these clubs are custom fitted means we don't go in the water. And I don't go to level. With the U, not the clubs. Mm. Right, a bit of a tester. 182 yards, flag at the front, water left. What One. are you going with? Six? Eight, I am. Really? Correct. They're power bats, though, aren't They're they? I'm going to go. Power bats. I'm going to go six, I am, guys. And like I said, these clubs are or were fitted for me at some point so looking at the specs of them they have worn a little bit in the bag you can see how you get that bag clatter they are one degree flat i have amt x100s in them and that's pretty much it bag yours aren't fitted are they chris yours are just designed to go a very long way bag clatter that is a gorgeous strike is it up there surely that's front edge so i'm between a six and a five here, going six because of the warm weather. Slightly downwind as well. It's not going to get there. I thought they looked a lot of loft on there. Come on, James. You're Sorry. just trying to Sorry. drag this video out now. Sorry. A few more adverts in. Right. Draw off that bunker. Well, it's, it is drawing towards the water. That's middle of the green. That's near the flag. It looked long to me, that. If it's long, I won't mind, because uh, the one thing I feel like maybe I could do better with with a more modern set of irons, a stronger lofted set of irons, is maybe distance. But if I start compressing the ball a little bit better, then maybe, just maybe, these are the perfect irons. You see, the new Mizunos, the 221s, 223s, 225s, they're good. They are good. The ones I've tried haven't been in my specs. I don't think they feel quite as good as the JPX921 Tours. Point it out there. Oh, what oh, a ball statement. statement. Where are these balls? Is the one? Mine is in. Oh, there's one at about a foot. Oh, that'd be me, if anything. That would. And I nearly went in. 
I ate, I struggled. Wow. For a birdie birdie start with the new bats, I must say as well, these are new and I'm really enjoying them as well. Chris, the, the, green's, the green's this way. I know. If you go this way, that's where the green is in the flag. I didn't make it. Okay. Well, I'll go this way, actually. You know when you walk into a green, you just feel vindicated that you're making the right decision about something. The first shot on the par five was good. That is even better. Oh, yes. Putter again. The trusted club. Go a bit. Ah. Oh. Oof. It's nearly inside my tee shot. So Chris Mine pitched there and has finished there. I'm glad you said it nearly went in the water. Well, it's, it is drawing towards the water. That's middle of the green. That's near the flag. I don't know how it's done that when it drew, but... Good shot, James. It must it... have lipped out. I'm going to put it out there. Imagine a hole-in-one on this video. It would have set my world alight. Would it? Yeah. Just to go two up. Could be a clean sweep. Birdie, birdie start, Chris. Two down, you've got some work to do, pal. With my new bats. Unbelievable. Turned it on and I sent two Peronis earlier. Uh, yeah, I think you do play better after you've got a couple of Uncle Tonys down here. Yeah? must say as well I do love this golf course you know some of these walks off the greens it's very uh, desert like isn't it is that the best you could come up with very desert -like. well what are you bringing to the table apart from your hat I thought he was gonna say something like it's very majestic walking off or it's very I'm gonna leave that to you but you said no it's very desert like well Sam though if, if anyone needs anything like describing very uh, Descriptively. <laughs> descriptively. Yeah, he done it again. Very, Nailed it. Very descriptively. James Robinson's your man. It's a lovely evening though for it. It's a glorious evening. Now guys, there is going to be a part two to this video and it's a good job because otherwise Chris would have already lost. Make sure you stay tuned right to the end of this. Check out part two on Chris Dennis Golf. See if he can resurrect himself. I'm going to pull my socks up. Maybe it's the hat. Maybe the hat has to get retired. Oh, no. I Never. So. You'd rather lose every match you ever played. Correct. Quality hat, this. What do you think to my, my decision? Well, I do have to say, I mean, you hit the Tacomos well. I just feel like I've got more control on these. I feel like I'm not turning everything over. I can play a fade if I need to. Yeah, I think that is the key of a good fitting. They are fitted for James, so we do know that they are to his specs. When he hits bad shots, it's just... Absolutely, the shaft is fantastic. I love the shaft. So it is an AMT Advanced Mass Technology, I believe. I think the M does stand for mass. Might be wrong. But for me, it's just a lovely weight in every club. Those you'll be taking the honour, will you? Yeah. I did on the last and it didn't help me, so... But... Yeah. <laughs> Needs to go a little. Fierce speed. That's massive, by the way. I wouldn't say it's massive. I'm enjoying this, though, as well. Another new club. Anyone tried this yet? Let me know in the comments. I feel like a new man, Chris, with my new clubs. And people say, never go back. They do look so good. Not as good as mine. Uh, well, that's six that's really a five. I'm not too sure. It's very debatable. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. Stay. Stay. I think I've done you off the tee there, by the way. Maybe by a yard. Stayed in a touch. Coming. Mm. That is just Mr. Green right with me. This right, Chris was that disgusted with his. He, uh, he took his wedge and his putter and ran off, so... We've got a chip for birdie, birdie, birdie. Now, I never have three birdies in a row. Very rare do I have one or two in a row or one by itself. Let's see 
what's going to happen on this third hole. Guys, do me a favor and get in the comments. Let me know, am I doing the right thing by putting these irons in play? I just don't think anything's really come out that's better than them. And with them fit, being fitted in my specs, I brought them out here to Dubai to possibly think, am I doing the right thing? I feel like off this tight turf, I certainly am. Oh, nipped. Oh, Ooh, an up and down might get us three up. Not your day. It doesn't seem it so far, but I've been known to roll one in every now and then. Should have brought my lob wedge here. All the golfers out there saying, have they not raked the bunker? Don't worry, it's wasteland. It's not, there's no rakes. Oh, he's gone for the stab and run. Oh. And the stab and run has left the door a key. That would be here. Yard, didn't it, to get. Flag is out. Oh, the camera can't see, but that's chased on to four hole beat. Let myself down there. Ex you know, that's an excellent four. Not an easy port that, but that does take you back to one. The ping wand for your channel, and that takes me back to one under par the for the day. The thing is, I'm, I'm as good as two over. Yeah. So guys, there you go. That is the end of part one of this video. Go and check out part two over on Chris Dennis Golf. Guys, also get in the comments below, what do you think to my decision with the irons? I feel like it is a bit of a decision as well. I don't think anything else, anything else is going to come out to change my mind. And on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you have enjoyed it. And apart from that, I'll see you all exactly the same time tomorrow. Don't be late. Bye.